Hello, ZooMed fans. We're here at AnimalCon 2023. We're about to wrap up the second day, but we're here with Dan the Turtle Man. That's me. What's up? <laughs> Tell our fans a little bit about yourself. As previously mentioned, I am Dan, the self-proclaimed turtle man. Uh, I work with a variety of turtle species, focusing on diamondback terrapins. Been working with them for over a decade now. I get to say that because I'm a boomer. Um, and so, you know, just working with the species, educating people on, you know, animal care with them because it can uh, it can be real easy if I just tell people how to do it. It can be real simple. So sure. try to make it simple. You say you work on conservation. What do you do? So great question. Uh, I've been sleeping on my nonprofit for a little bit while I finished a move, but now starting to get things together, get the ball rolling a little bit um, on some diamondback terrapin, which is the species I am in love with. Uh, oh, they're getting amazing. They're amazing. They freaking rock. Getting working with them more so in the wild, getting more, just promoting this species, getting more people to care about the species. You care about them, you're gonna conserve them and actually getting out and doing the field work, not just sitting, reading them uh, and, and educating about them. I want to do more field work, get out there and do more. So you've been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. When did you start, I mean, we're here at AnimalCon. This is all a lot of creators. Oh, when yeah. did you start creating? When did you start, you know, being a social media influence? So, well, that's a good question. I think that people around my age all sort of grew up making like one of my friends we were laughing doing minecraft youtube tutorial whatever videos with that stuff <laughs> but as far as animals in particular and taking things seriously sure. that was maybe seven years ago sort of late high school senior year a little bit and i've just been rolling with it ever since able to actually do things uh full time like a year and a half ago or so you you happened to stop by our booth here at the show earlier and we had something in the booth you got a little excited about I was it geeking. so i figured maybe i'd we'd give a, a view to our fans because it's actually a fairly new product to begin with too so we can kind of like premiere this a little bit let them see it so this is zoomed's new tortoise yard it's essentially a way to keep your tortoise you know outside at least you know maybe not if all the time part of the time and you liked this well, tell them tell the people why you like this it is, I am not sponsored. I was geeking out hard over this because especially with tortoises, getting them in that natural sunlight, letting them experience the weather, making sure uh, even if you're in a Northern climate and you have more of a tropical species, a redfoot tortoise, you can get them outside for several months of the year, getting that key access to UVB radiation that you cannot replicate with a bulb. You can get close, but nothing is like the sun, especially when they're out there foraging in your yard, protected from predators, I was so excited because I try to tell people build it yourself, but if you don't want to buy it Wonderful, okay, so you know you're you do content you're in conservation. Do you keep anything yourself? I have 14 turtles down from 50 last year. I have 12 diamondback terrapins, one Reeves turtle, and a Chinese box turtle. So why the diamondback terrapin? Why has that become your focal point? It's a great question. They are, in my opinion, the prettiest, the most personable, um, the most interesting to me. The niche that they find in the wild is also extremely near and dear to my heart growing up in New Jersey, always going down uh, to the shore and whatnot. And you guy right here. I lived in Pennsylvania for a I, while too. I know it. I know oh it. yeah. Oh yeah. So um, just they are unparalleled in looks, personality and everything like that. Uh, I just, yeah, that was, I love them. I love them. I can't even find words. <laughs> That's how much I love those boogers. What would you like our fans to know as far as, you know, you mentioned a new nonprofit you're getting ready to start. I launched it like a year and a half ago. Okay. Then I had some moving situations and now I'm going to be able to work a little bit more with it. I'm in some talks right now about the best way, the most efficient way to conserve the turtles. Is there any way our fans could possibly help or reach out or? Right now, actually, I'm still like just post move, getting everything figured out and settled for right now. Turtle Preservation Foundation, that is happening. Um, especially now with, I can't go too much into detail, but um, there's a lot of good stuff coming. A uh, lot more conservation, education, actually getting out there, going places, and uh, hopefully doing some some real, 
real fun stuff. That's neat. So given that we're at Animal Con and mm -hmm. it's a convention for creators, you know, do you have any advice to anybody who might be considering becoming a creator, but they're, they're not sure, they're on the doorstep of it. Do you have any advice to those folks? Worst case scenario, you fail. And then so what? You tried. It, it, to have tried and failed is to have succeeded in my opinion, because if you didn't try, you can't, you, you, you gotta be in it to win it. Why would you look back and say, oh, what I could have done? Oh, what I could have done, what I could have done, what I should have done. Do it, do it, even if it's a little bit, even if it's one video every month, even if you're putting all this time and energy and money into a stupid video that you think is hilarious, like I've been doing recently, spending all this time, I built a robot, I built a vivarium for sea monkeys, a lot of dumb stuff, I think it's funny. And even though it's taking me way more time to do that, I love it. So even if it's shorts here and there, um, no matter what it is, get started. And I know that everyone says that and some people say, plan it, plan it, plan it. Get started, start posting. That's great advice. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Enjoy the rest of Animal Con. Yes, sir. Thank you guys.